We will first need to set up the Ion OneTouch ES by loading a new tip in the tip arm. Place a new tip in the tip loader. Remove the tip arm from the cradle and align the metal fitting of the tip arm with the tip. Keeping the fitting on the tip arm vertical, firmly press the tip arm down onto the new tip until the tip arm meets the tip loader. Hold the tip arm to the tip loader for one second to ensure proper installation of the tip. Lift the tip arm straight up to pull the installed tip from the tip loader tube. Next, return the tip arm to the cradle. Tilt the tip arm back. Align the pins with the round notches in the cradle, then lower the tip arm into position. Rock the tip arm forward into the working position. Ensure that the back bottom end of the tip arm is not resting on the top of the thumb screw, which causes the tip arm to tilt forward. Remove an 8-well strip from the frame. Position the frame holding the 8-well strips over the ejector plate. Grasp the frame at the corners by pressing the right and then the left sides of the frame until you see and hear the strips lift out of the frame. Remove the 8-well strip from the frame, then return the frame with the remaining strips to the supplied bag with the ejector plate attached. First, load 80 microliters of water or Ion One Touch wash solution into the second well, well 2, from the square tabbed end of the strip. Next, load the 8-well strip into the slot of the tray so that the square tabbed end is to the left and the strip is pushed all the way to the right until it touches the end of the slot. Run the residual volume test. During the test, confirm that the tip is centered with respect to the sides of the wells when moving in or out of a well. Turn the instrument on. Wait for the instrument to initialize. The screen displays ready. The tip arm performs a series of movements and returns to the home position. Press Start Stop. Wait for the instrument to aspirate the solution from well 2 and completely remove the tip from well 2. Then manually push the 8 well strip to the left so that well 4 is positioned directly under the tip arm. Wait for the instrument to dispense the tip contents into well 4. Press Start Stop to stop the test run. Then press Start Stop again to return the tip arm to the home position. Place a P10 pipette at the front bottom of well 2. Aspirate the entire residual water or ion one touch wash solution from the well. Then estimate the residual volume. Depending on the outcome of the residual volume test, take one or more of the following actions, described in the table on page 52 of the ion one touch user guide. If the residual volume test indicates that calibration is needed, Please refer to the next section of this video which will demonstrate how to perform the calibration of the Ion OneTouch ES. Perform horizontal calibrations so that during operation the tip is optimally positioned in the well of the 8-well strip. Note that the strip is always tilted at a fixed 10-degree angle in the slot. The pipette tip is vertical. When the tip is aligned properly during calibration, so that it is in line with the notch in the calibration shelf, the tip touches the bottom of the well during the run, close to the front bottom edge of the well. The assembly is paired for each Ion OneTouch ES. If you have multiple instruments, they should not be mixed and matched. There are matching serial numbers on the tray assembly and tip arm and the Ion OneTouch ES. To perform the calibration, first set up the Ion OneTouch ES as previously described in the residual volume test and install a new pipette tip. To clearly see the relationship between the pipette tip, calibration shelf, and notch during calibration, mark each of them with a felt tip pen. Put the instrument into calibration mode. Power the instrument off. While holding down Select, Calibrate, power the instrument on. Keep holding down Select, Calibrate until P1 is displayed. The instrument will cycle through several values. You should keep holding the Select, Calibrate button for 3 seconds until the instrument beeps 2 times and Cal is displayed. To perform vertical calibration of the instrument, press the Vertical Adjust button. The ES instrument displays ASP, which is short for Aspirate or Z bottom position. Press Start Stop. The tip arm lowers to bring the tip near the notch in the calibration shelf on the left side of the tray. If the pipette tip is not positioned in line with the slot in the calibration shelf, 
Adjust the thumb screw at the back of the tip arm counterclockwise to move the tip forward or clockwise to move the tip back until the tip is in line with the notch in the calibration shelf. Adjust the height of the pipette tip in relation to the calibration shelf. If the tip is already touching the shelf, raise the tip until it is no longer touching the shelf. Press the plus button repeatedly until the tip clears the shelf by 2 millimeters. Exit the calibration using the start stop button. Then wait for the tip arm to stop moving and for P1 to display. Put the instrument into vertical calibration mode by pressing the select calibrate button for three seconds until the instrument beeps two times and cal is displayed. The instrument will cycle through several values before cal is displayed. Press the vertical adjust button. The ES instrument displays ASP, which is short for aspirate or Z bottom position. Press start stop. The tip arm lowers to bring the tip near the notch in the calibration shelf on the left side of the tray. Press the minus button repeatedly until the tip just touches the shelf. After the tip just touches the shelf, press the minus button eight more times to lower the tip further into its final calibrated position. Pressing the minus button eight additional times accounts for different tip lengths and variations during tip installation. It is better to have the aspiration height be too low than too high. If the tip is too high and is above the shelf, calibrate the instrument to lower the tip until it touches the shelf. Press the minus button repeatedly until the tip just touches the shelf. Each press of the minus key moves the tip arm by .002 inches, which may be difficult to detect. After the tip just touches the shelf, Press the minus button eight more times to lower the tip further into its final calibrated position. Press start stop again, then wait for the tip arm to stop moving and for P1 to display. To perform horizontal calibration of the instrument, once again put the instrument into calibration mode. Press select calibrate for three seconds until the instrument beeps two times and cal is displayed. Next, press the horizontal adjust button. The ES will display FLA. Then press the start stop button to enter the horizontal calibration mode. The tip arm will lower and move the tip into a horizontal reference point. Place an empty 8 well strip in the slot in the tray with the square tab on the left. Push the strip as far left as possible in the slot. Observe the position of the strip relative to the position of the tip. When properly calibrated, the strip is touching but not pushing on or deflecting the tip. If the strip is pushing on the tip or the tip is less than one millimeter from the tab on the strip, adjust the horizontal position of the tip arm. If the strip pushes on the tip, calibrate the instrument to move the tip away from the strip. Apply slight pressure to keep the strip to the far left. Press the minus button repeatedly until the strip does not touch the tip. Each press of the minus key moves the tip arm to the left by .002 inches, which may be difficult to detect. If the strip is less than one millimeter from the tip, calibrate the instrument to move the tip toward the strip by applying slight pressure to the eight well strip to keep the strip to the far left. Next, press the plus button repeatedly until the strip is less than one millimeter from the tip. Note that each press of the plus key moves the tip arm to the right or toward the 8 well strip by about 0.002 inches or about 50 micrometers, which may be difficult to detect. Once the tip is properly calibrated relative to the 8 well strip, press start stop to save the setting and for P1 to display. Power the instrument off, wait 3 seconds, then power the instrument on to return to normal operating mode. Once again, perform a residual volume test to confirm the calibration. After calibration, your Ion OneTouch instrument is now ready for use. This concludes the Ion OneTouch ES residual volume and calibration installation video. If you have any questions about the content discussed in this video, please contact your local technical support team.